In this video, we're going to demystify reading order and its relationship to tags. First, let's check the logical reading order manual test and that related headings issue. Close out the action wizard, click the accessibility button, and click the reading order button. This will launch the reading order dialog box. Let's move that out of the way so we can see our document. The reading order tool is poorly named. It leads to a lot of confusion because it does a lot more than reading order. This is also how you tag text. Tagging in Acrobat is very similar to HTML tags. P tags are for paragraphs. Heading tags are for headings. The tool provides two ways to view the content. The structure types radio button shows how the content is tagged. The page content order will show what order it will be read in depending on the screen reader. Let's see the order here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Awesome! And starts with 22 in the second column. That's perfect. There's an option to display like elements in a single block, which you can see here. We're a little lucky that Acrobat was able to figure out that this was a two column layout. Sometimes it doesn't go this well. Turn off that display like elements because we need to add some headers here. You can also activate the reading order panel on the left. If things are out of order, we drag them around in that panel. You can see they basically match up. So that's the first part of checking the manual reading order. But we still have that headings issue. There are no headings, just paragraphs. For a PDF to be accessible and compliant, it needs to have at least one heading. Screen reader users use headings to navigate a document. If this was a 200 page document with no headings, it'd be impossible to navigate. Let's start tagging things that should be headings as headings. To select a heading, just click and drag over some text. There we go. Now just click heading one. Looks like a good H2. Click and drag. Click the heading two button. Click and drag over this heading, mark it as an H3, and select all the other H3s. The top of this column looks like it should be an H2, and this one up here, and back to mark in our H3s. Now we need to verify that the content order is still correct. Click the page content order radio button. If things seem out of order, you would use the reading order panel over here and drag things. You could drag useful images up or down to be in a different location. But fair warning, Acrobat sort of goes to crazy town when these things get dragged around too much. Since some screen readers use the tags order to read, we'll check that next. Go ahead and close out your reading order. Let's go to the pane here on the left. Right click, choose tags and expand the tags and we can see the order things are. Expand some of these. Notice a guide to seasonal and year-round activities is not in the right spot. It should be right after fun things to do in Wonderland. So we just drag it up here and there we go. And finally, let's run the full check one more time. Click the full check button and click start checking. Okay, looks like everything's a green check mark. There's still some problems with this document and things that need manually checked, but I have taken you far enough into the weeds already. Hopefully, you now know how to check if a document is not accessible and have a working knowledge of what it would mean to fix it. To learn how to really remediate a PDF file, it's going to take hours of tutorials, and that wasn't the purpose here. This series is just meant to demystify what it means for a PDF to be inaccessible. Hopefully it's a little more clear now than it was eight minutes ago.